Price ceilings and export bans are a recipe for inflation and food insecurity. According to Center for Market Education CEO Carmelo Ferlito, these measures imposed by the government to tame inflation will only delay the problem. He explains why. We are basically uh, taking away profit opportunities from uh, suppliers, and this is a negative incentive for the supply to step up. And if these suppliers try to make a broad, uh, then we put an export ban on it. Uh, so with these two measures, basically we are avoiding to get what we want, that is more supply. So potentially what we can get after this is that some suppliers seize operations. So we, we can even observe unemployment in, uh, in the industry, but for sure we don't get the additional supply that we need and prices will remain uh, tense toward the high level. In the moment in which the ceilings are removed, uh, then prices will get high again because the supply has not step up. On top of that, he said the government should commit to policies to liberalize international trade, such as the move to drop approved permits, AP, for food import. If we cannot cope domestically with uh, uh, certain production, then we can have an easier access to foreign products. Uh, the, the, this is a way to, to try to cool down prices. But again, the problem is with price ceilings, uh, then probably uh, importers don't want to import because they don't see profit opportunities there. So that advantage that you could gain with the removal of the AAPs is basically um, nullified by the price ceilings. As more as we allow the market to do its job, then the faster the suppliers will meet the demand and prices will cool down again. So it is as simple as that allow the market to do its job, avoid the populistic temptations, and on the other side, push you the way that you have indicated with the AP's removal. So open to true and effective free trade.